Hello Libras, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your rest of April reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and they are on sale for the next few days. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $20 or an hour long Zoom reading for $50. And everything that you'll need to know is in the description box below for you. Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Libras, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Libra, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. We're going to pull some general messages and themes. Then we're going to look at their energy and your energy, potential outcome, and some advice. You have shocking event. You are the best thing in my life and false promises. We have flirt here at the bottom of the deck. That shocking event is very, very feeling, very much feeling like a tower here. I do feel like somebody could be either running into you. For some of you guys, I feel like they're running into you somewhere. But for, for most of you, I feel like somebody's just reaching out here. And they could be being very uh, casual. Which, considering how things have ended off here, I feel is a little off-putting, right, just from that. Uh, it's almost a little bit odd, like how somebody can be very, like, try to be very casual after what has happened, okay? I do feel like there was some kind of um, very big hurt or betrayal. Just somebody did something that you just never would have expected from them, okay? And I do feel like somebody is recognizing where you were the best thing in their life, where they are having some regrets, but I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like you're very open. I don't feel like you trust this person. Okay, let's see what that was. Magician, Knight of Cups. So you're definitely going to hear from somebody here, okay? They really want to make something happen here. That's just because I feel like they're recognizing how much better things were when they were with you, but that Four of Cups that just flipped over, I don't think that you're very open, like I said. So let's take a look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and their actions moving forward. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Cups at the bottom. So somebody is coming in and expressing to you how they feel. I, like I said, it does seem a little bit casual at first, which I feel is a little off-putting. But somebody's feeling a little bit lost and lonely without you. They're definitely really realizing where their life is lacking. Um without you. And I, and I feel like it's in multiple areas where they're just, things are just not, you know, as good as they were when they were with you. Things have not been the same. Things are not good. They're just really realizing how much value you added to their life. They're really noticing the lack at this time, feeling a little bit lost and lonely. The nine of swords in the heart space. So I do feel like they are very upset about this. I feel like yeah, some of them could even have a hard time sleeping. Like I feel like they lay in bed and just kind of overthink and overthink about things. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse for their intention. I feel like they are, whatever has been holding them back from reaching out up until this point, I feel like they are releasing. I also feel like they're worried that maybe you have already started to release them. And I feel like they're wondering if you're still holding on to what happened. Like, if, I wonder if Libra's still upset. I wonder if they're still... You know, I wonder if they're still holding on to that. I feel like they're hoping that you're not here. Five of Swords in reverse. I do feel like this person does feel remorse. And maybe they're coming in to express that to you. I feel like they do feel bad about what's happened here. But I don't feel like you fully trust it. We're going to take a look. We're going to look at your energy towards them. Show me Libra's energy towards this person. What is Libra's energy towards this person, please? What is Libra's energy towards this person? Two 
two of wands i feel like you guys have already started to move in a new direction some of you guys are already in a new commitment i don't feel like that's the case for most of you i just feel like you feel like you've really learned your lesson okay yeah, the Seven of Swords, you don't trust this person at all. Two Sevens here, so there's a lot going on inside. I feel like this triggers a lot in you. This uh, communication from this person triggers a lot in you, but I don't feel like you express it, okay? I don't feel like you show your cards, so to speak. I feel like it's all going on internally with these two Sevens right next to each other. Um, and then the Five of Swords, you don't really trust this person. Um, it's interesting that they have the Five of Swords in the reverse, and you have the Five of Swords here, because I feel like you're very conflicted. Um, about how to handle this situation. I feel like you're looking back at this situation too and kind of um, like just re like just re-looking at things, re-looking at what's happened, reassessing the situation. I don't feel like you fully trust them. Like I said, for the most part, in your mind, you have the two of wands here. I think you are trying to leave this behind, put it behind you, and just move in a new direction. I think it was very painful for you. I think it was very hard for you. And you're like, I'm just, I'm just trying to move forward. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to put this behind me. You got the Hierophant in your heart space. I feel like you do want something that is long-term, stable, committed. I feel like this Hierophant is also a card of learning major lessons. <coughs> Excuse me, my loves. And I feel like you feel like you have learned your lesson here. Two sevens in a row. Like I said, a lot of really internal energies. Really not trusting a person here with that seven of swords. I feel like you are... Maybe giving them the opportunity to apologize. Uh, I just don't think that you trust it. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't trust them wanting to come back. Some of them are even expressing to you that you were the best thing in your life and how just how much better everything was. And I feel like you, there's a part of you maybe that wants to believe them. Um, hmm. Got the Seven of Pentacles as well. So I really do feel like, you know, your action, I feel like you are really analyzing the situation. Like I said, reassessing it, analyzing it, looking at everything. You got the devil in the reverse here. And the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like... I just don't feel like you're willing to put yourself back in the position to experience what you did in the past. The Nine of Wands in the reverse to me can be a card of just being exhausted. It can be a card of just letting go, giving up on a situation. The Devil in the reverse, I feel like you have released a lot of... Um, the negativity. I feel like a lot of you guys are in a space where like, you know what, maybe I can forgive you and maybe the forgiveness isn't even for them. It's for you. So you're not carrying around that anger, that hate, you know, I, I feel like a lot of you guys are releasing that for you. Okay. Um, and you end up feeling much lighter at the end of this, but I still feel like a lot of you guys are like, no, I've learned enough of a lesson from this that I'm not, I'm not putting myself back in a position to, um, to experience that again, I'm taking what I can from the situation and I'm moving forward. You have the full card here as well. So I think you guys are freeing yourself from this and looking forward to a new beginning here. But these are just weekly energies, okay? Now we are going to get some advice or an angel message from you for you. Wow. You had liberation fly out. fly out. So yeah, that full card and this, definitely liberation. I feel like this. there's something about this conversation though that in a, in a sense does kind of set you free. Okay, um, it definitely makes you feel free, liberated. I feel like a lot of you guys, like I said, you're moving in a brand new direction here. Um, some of you guys are moving towards a more solid, stable commitment. But that is what I have for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.